Welcome to the installation video series of Hoymiles 4 in 1 Microinverter and DTU Pro S. This series of videos consists of 5 chapters Overview, Preparation, AC Trunk Cable Installation, 4 in 1 Microinverter Installation, and DTU Pro S Installation. This video takes HMS 2004T as an example for the installation tutorial, but it's also suitable for other models. You can refer to the user manual if you need more information. Please note that only those who have been properly trained or who demonstrate relevant skills can install and maintain this microinverter under instructions. In this video, we will help you understand and learn the installation procedure of a 4-in-1 microinverter through building a 4 kW PV system. This system is composed of two HMS 2000 microinverters, 8 PV modules, and 1 DTU Pro S. They work together to convert direct current into alternating current and feed the power to the public grid. Each microinverter works independently, and the working conditions of each panel can be checked and regulated on the monitoring platform through DTU Pro S. Before we start, we'd like to give you a brief introduction to our HMS 2000 microinverter. Its output power is up to 2000 VA. It can connect up to four panels, each with an independent MPPT that enables module-level data monitoring. It is integrated with reactive power control and is compliant with various standards. Furthermore, this model features the Sub-1G wireless solution that ensures stable communication in various environments. Now, let's take a look at the tools that we are going to use. For installation tools, we need large torque, wrench, large slotted screwdriver, small slotted screwdriver, large Phillips screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver, steel tape, crimping pliers, small wrench, wire stripper, and diagonal pliers. For personal protection equipment, we need helmets, gloves, overalls, and safety ropes. As for other auxiliary tools, we need M for screws, M8 bolts, grounding accessories, tie wraps, grounding cable, 10 AWGAC trunk cable, and AC and cable. We also need microinverter accessories including AC trunk end cap, AC trunk port cap, AC trunk port disconnect tool, AC trunk connector unlock tool and DC extension cable, and most importantly, HMS 2000 and DTU Pro S. Open the microinverter package. We can see that parameter label in the center. At the upper left corner is the Sub-1G wireless antenna. The terminals on the left and right are DC connectors. And on the upper right is the AC output connector. The screw hole in the middle of the handle is for the grounding wire. Now, we are ready to go. First, plan and build the AC trunk cable. Determine how many microinverters you plan to install on each AC branch and prepare AC trunk connectors accordingly. The number of connectors depends on the design. Second, unlock the connector's upper cover with AC trunk connector unlock tool. Third, loosen the three screws with the screwdriver. Untighten the cap and remove the cable. The fourth step is to insert the AC trunk end cap. Screw the cap back to port and then tighten the cap. Then use a wrench to tighten the cap. Please note that the torque is 4.0 plus or minus 0.5 Nm. Please do not exceed the torque in case of any damage to the AC mains connector. And last, plug the upper cover back to the trunk connector. If you hear a click, it means the connector is ready. Then we can start to install the AC and cable. The first step is to unlock the port upper cover. Second, loosen the screws with the screwdriver and remove the extra cable. Third, insert the cable into the cap in a way that the L, N and P are in corresponding slots. Then use a screwdriver to fix the prepared AC truck cable to the connector and use a wrench to tighten the cap. Finally, 
Plug the upper cover back into the trunk connector to complete the AC and cable installation. Repeat the above steps to make all the AC trunk cables you need. Now, we come to the installation of the microinverter. Before the installation begins, please determine and mark the appropriate installation location of the microinverter according to the drawing. First, fix the screws at the predetermined place on the rail. Hang the microinverter onto the screws, and then tighten the screws. Please note that the silver cover side of the microinverter should be facing the panel. Second, lay out the cable on the rail. Place the connector next to the planned installation location of the microinverter, and then fix the cable with tie wraps. Third, plug the AC sub connector of the microinverter into the AC trunk connector until you hear the click. Fourth, Route a continuous grounding cable through grounding brackets of each microinverter to the AC grounding electrode that conforms with local regulations. Fifth, plug the AC trunk port cap in any vacant AC trunk port to make it water and dust proof. Sixth, peel the removable serial number label from each microinverter and affix it to the corresponding location on the installation map. The next step is to connect PV modules. Please determine whether the DC extension cable is required based on your situation. In our case, extension cables are needed for some modules, so we have to move the PV modules onto the rail. Use the DC extension to connect to the PV modules. Then connect the microinverter with DC extension cables. and fix the cable with tie wraps. Finally, move the PV modules above the microinverter and fix them. Repeat the above operation until all PV modules are connected. Now, we need to connect the AC and cable to the distribution box. Please note that the grid connection and system energizing shall be operated by professionals after obtaining the permit from the grid operator. Next connect the distribution box to the local grid to complete the microinverter installation. Don't forget to go through the checklist to see whether the installation is complete. Now we come to the last part, the installation of DTU Pro S. This package of DTU Pro S contains an installation map, quick installation guide, adapter, power cables, 5-pin plug, bracket, and Hoymiles DTU Pro S. We can see that it has four indicator lights, and the slot on the right is for the SD card. The slots on the back from left to right are RS485 port, DRM port, Ethernet port, USB port, reset button, and power port. First, plug the power adapter into the DTU Pro S and power it up. When the two communication indicators start to flash after all the indicators light up, it means that you can start to perform the network configuration on DTU Pro S. Use your smartphone to open the installer app and log in. Find O and M on the bottom of the page, select network config and then complete the wi-fi configuration select the wi-fi you want to connect to by either entering the name manually or selecting one from the wi-fi list enter the password and click send to dtu then disconnect from dtu ap and reboot the dtu pro s if the second indicator on the dtu pro s is always on it means DTU Pro S has completed the network settings. Last, peel the serial number label from the DTU Pro S and place it on the installation map to complete the system information. After creating your own plant on the monitoring platform S Miles Cloud, you can see the detailed operation status of the microinverter and control the microinverter remotely in time.